In 2021, Kat Von D announced she would be closing her famous tattoo parlor in Los Angeles after 14 years and moving to Indiana for a quieter life with her husband Rafael Reyes and their three-year-old son. It should come as no surprise then that Kat has placed her gothic Victorian mansion in Hancock Park up for sale at $15 million, which she's renovated and added many unique features, including a blood red swimming pool. However, Kat has made sure her new digs in Indiana are no less interesting, considering she bought the historic Shank Mansion, which spans over 12,000 square feet of space and is known to be haunted. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Catherine Von Drakenberg, aka Kat Von D, is a Mexican American tattoo artist turned cosmetics entrepreneur and more who became a household name while starring on the reality series LA Inc. While her Los Angeles tattoo parlor High Voltage is famous, it's time for a change and she's excited for a new life in Indiana with her husband and their son. Kat said about her new life. We recently purchased a beautiful home on a bit of land in rural Indiana and the more time we spend out there, we realize we feel more at home there than we do here in LA. After much thought, we have decided we will permanently be moving to Indiana at the end of this year. With a net worth of $30 million, Kat could have chosen any Indiana mansion she wanted, but as you might expect, the star is moving into the reportedly haunted Shank Mansion, which she snagged for over $1.5 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this one looking at the Victorian mansions of Kat Von D. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 2021, Kat announced she would be closing her famed Los Angeles tattoo parlor, High Voltage, after 14 years in business, moving across the country to Indiana with her family. That being said, in January 2022, Kat also put her gothic-style Victorian mansion on the market for $15 million, which is located in the historic Windsor Square neighborhood of LA. Her house was built back in the 1890s by businessman and rancher Isaac Newton Van Nuys, who's the founder founder of the nearby Van Nuys neighborhood. Then, the historic home was moved to its present day location in 1915 by his son, later appearing in the 2003 movie Cheaper by the Dozen. Kat snagged the mansion back in 2016 for $6.5 million and proceeded to give the three-story house a completely gothic renovation, adding a stage and theater room with wet bar on the third floor, a hidden speakeasy with hand-carved walls, and a blood-red pool and spa out on the grounds. Inside the stunning mansion, there's over 12,500 square feet of space with 13 bedrooms and 10 baths along with 7 fireplaces. Before walking in, the mansion's brick exterior has been decked out in a dark red color, boasting an impressive turret, and is tucked behind a detailed wrought iron gate and hedges. The grand entryway leads into the stunning common rooms, including a wood paneled living room with high ceilings and ornate fireplace, as well as a wood paneled library or study with another fireplace. These rooms both have beautiful high ceilings with impressive chandeliers, along with stately furniture to match. Nearby rooms include a dining room with stained glass windows and a ton of red accents, much like the other spaces, and a sprawling French style ballroom or formal living room with a painted ceiling. Even the kitchen has a gothic design from the abundance of matching dark woods and even in the snack bar seating, well, there are also vintage chic appliances here. Altogether, Kat's Victorian mansion has plenty of rooms anchored by dark wood flooring, detailed and carved walls, as well as gold tinted ceilings and opulent chandeliers. In fact, many of the rooms are dripping in gold and metallics, giving the space a royal feel. There are five bedrooms on the second floor, along with multiple luxury en-suites, and a few of them almost look like you're in an actual palace. All of the bedrooms are regal, but my personal fave has to be the one with the large detailed fireplace in one corner and the plush red curtains and accents. I also love the bedroom with the gloomy mural on the walls, but all of the bedrooms possess their own personality, which is cool. 
Even the bathrooms in Kat's mansion are beautiful with polished marble floors and other fancy details, especially the black and gold bathroom which looks like the master. Aside from all the cool amenities in Kat's gothic abode, there's also an additional two bedroom guest apartment on top of the garage, which also has a turntable driveway at the front. To match Kat's vision for her moody mansion, she even made the swimming pool and spa out back offer blood red colored water while surrounding patio was decorated with stately statues. I don't know about you guys, but this has got to be one of my favorite celebrity mansions we looked at. While Kat is moving on from that home, you shouldn't expect anything less spooky from her new place. So let's take a look. Property records reveal that Kat purchased this home in Vevey, Indiana in December 2020 with her mother and her sister for just over $1.5 million. She's also said that she has plans to most likely open a private studio in Indiana once the renovations on their residence are complete. Kat's new property is also a famous one in the area, known as the Shank Mansion and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Not only is it historic, it's said to be haunted. Built in the 1700s, the grand and vintage home was designed by Cincinnati architect George P. Humphreys for the Shank family. More specifically, the father, who is a successful businessman, he had it constructed for his son, Benjamin Franklin Shank. Benjamin only spent two years in the mega mansion before passing away. Restoration of the property happened between 1998 and 2000, but as you might have guessed, Kat will be renovating the mansion as well to fit her tastes. It's already gone through a lot of changes over the years, serving as everything from an event space for the Indiana Baptist Convention, then rental apartments, and even a bed and breakfast. Spanning over 12,000 square feet of space inside and 10.6 acres of land, Kat's new residence has some amazing features, such as a four-story tower, a window watcher attic, seven balconies, 13 fireplaces, and four porches. The mansion also has a whopping 35 rooms throughout, seven of which are bedrooms and six baths with two half baths. While there's a ton of space, the historic home even comes complete and fully furnished, including the original antiques, dishes, and silverware. If Kat was able to make her Los Angeles mansion so unique and gothic, I can only imagine what she'll be able to do with this actual haunted house. Five of the bathrooms in the residence boast the original copper lines and walnut tubs, which are only a taste of the antique features in the house. Aside from all the bedrooms, there's also a bonus innkeeper's apartment. The formal rooms all offers soaring and stately ceilings while there are common areas like a grand entryway and vintage yet stylish kitchen. Outside of Kat's Indiana mansion, there's a patio overlooking what's called a water garden, and there are other expansive decks and verandas on the property too. The stunning estate is full of gardens, multiple fountains and waterfalls, as well as a vineyard and a gazebo. As I mentioned, it's well known that the Shank Mansion is haunted. In fact, it's said to be one of the most haunted spots in all of Indiana. Legend said the mansion was built over the ruins of an older structure that burnt down in a fire where a couple was also trapped inside. Those guests who stayed here when it was a bed and breakfast also have noted presence of six to seven other guests, aka ghosts, and single male visitors were often woken up at night by ghostly kisses. Stories of lights mysteriously flickering and unsourced sounds throughout the mansion were persistent. In the words of Michelle Thompson, Shank's former innkeeper, there are things that just happened. Well, I for one can't wait to see if Kat has any haunted stories for us once she takes up residence here. All right, so that brings us to the end of our Kat Von D house tour. I'm ending it on a spooky note, but I for one can't wait to see what she does with her new mansion in Indiana. Looking at both this place and her gothic LA mansion, I think Kat has some of the coolest properties I've ever seen. I wish I could live at either of those homes. What did you guys think? Too creepy for you or perfect? And what about that blood red pool? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Kat's properties down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.